Young people are defined by a set of problems that we want to fix. If they are not a part of the solutions that we're creating for them, those solutions are not going to work. To have an impact, you're going to have to actually involve the population that you're trying to have an impact on. Spaces that we can create or should create for young people should be the spaces that they create, right? They create for themselves um, and that we, we are there as partners, as supporters. Teenagers need support. They don't need us to take over. They just need us to support them. How do you balance being the adult, having authority with supporting youth agency. When I think about kind of the idea of youth-adult partnerships, I think about it more in terms of a dance, where there's moments where you need to step forward to be able to provide a little bit more support or provide the structure, and then there's times when you need to step back to enable the young people um, to take leadership. We're very interested in youth agency, pro providing more opportunities for youth to be responsible, uh, to take leadership, to act to exercise agency, to develop their skills. I felt like the kids were overburdened. They're doing soccer, they're doing drama, they're doing my program, they're doing all of these things. And so I limited their responsibilities. They can have a bigger role. Their voice can be bigger and more impactful. I mean, they want that. Ultimately, we know that young people can make changes in their communities and in our state. For policymakers to view this as valuable, we have to demonstrate that we're getting outcomes. We tend to define the effectiveness of our youth engagement programs by whether or not the young people are engaged and growing, not by the impact that that program had on the community. It's not just about coming together, it's about having an impact. What are the things that seem to be the common denominators among those partnerships that were able to have an impact? And they found that they have a common agenda, they have shared measurement, systems. Uh, they have uh, a continuous communication inside and outside the partnership so that the community knows what the strategies are. They work on mutually reinforcing activities. And then the piece that really caught on was if you're going to have this kind of a partnership really make a difference, it has to play some critical backbone functions. It has to be staffed. If communities aren't investing enough in their partnerships and coalitions to, for them to have the capacity to have an impact, we're basically spinning our wheels. That's the idea of collective impact. Give young people an opportunity to not just think about how they could change something in their school or in their peer group, but actually in their community. That means that they're gonna to have to work together for collective impact. There's so much research done about young people, and young people are rarely included in the development of knowledge about themselves. I think that notion of having young people um, develop questions and use that information to drive initiatives is just is so crucial. We really believe that this is an effective way for Ohio to create population level change. Youth-led programs work and youth-led programs make change and we need to have that evidence and that's where we're at and Ohio is a forerunner in doing that.